Hello everybody, I'm Jeremy Canole with Aerosport. Uh, I'm gonna show you today on how to remove a tire from a bush cat tail wheel. Uh, we are installing the uh, Alaska bush wheel um, air streak. So I'm gonna show you how to remove this tire with re without removing the uh, cotter pin and the big nut. Um, what we're gonna do first is jack up the airplane. Three bolts. So three, sorry, three nuts. So these three nuts here, and these bolts that you look on the other side, you're looking to see that you're removing the right one. So inside there, you can see three bolts. You don't want to remove the ones. You want to remove the ones you can't see. take our little tap to tap it loose just like that and off it comes we're gonna save the washers off it comes everything else stays intact okay okay so next we're just taking a little bit of grease to put around here so that it will slide over this lip and seat Next, we're going to have to jack the plane up some more. Unpack the tires. Got them all unpacked, okay? Just don't take a knife to the packing so you don't want to cut your tire. Um, I take a little bit of Sil Glide just to put just a little smooth thin bead, not a lot, just to help so when the rim is put in place, it'll slide down because it is very hard rubber. So I just do very little, not much at all, very little. Go ahead, do both sides, just, just on the edge here. Just a little bit. Okay. So that's done like that. Make sure you know which side's your good side. This is gonna be facing outwards. We do have a rim ready to go. We have another rim ready to go. So what we do need to do is, did we get the right bolts for this time? Oh, we gotta take them back out again. So I grab a longer bolt to throw through. The reason being is, you can't get the bolts through that come with because it's so tight. So I use these little longer ones just to pull in the rim use a washer so you won't scratch the rim correct okay here you go I'm gonna have you take those I'm gonna get him another one I got my three starters in there to start it because otherwise you won't get the rim lined up the way you want it. Next, we're gonna grab our sockets. We're 
going to do it all a little bit even, but we're going to start with the one that's facing out more. So, okay, let's go straight up. Okay, let's go back to this other one. Okay, go ahead and uh, put a socket on that. Let's just tighten that up just a hair to pull it in a little more. Tighten that up just a hair so it doesn't pop off. Now we got the rim together, so now what we're going to do is we're going to torque the bolts to the Matco spec of 100 inch pounds. So right now that's what we're going to do. We're going to do all three. Okay, Mike, go ahead. There we go. I'm going to tell you when to take that hand away. Oh, he's always going to be back. Perfect. And what we'll do is we'll add air, pop it up, pop it into the groove. We'll take air back out, put it back in, air it back up. Uh, it's minimum of six, maximum of 12. I'm doing seven and a half air uh, PSI right now. One more. One more. One more. Uh, Jeremy? Let's get the tire in close. You know, I'm being really careful. Still not tall enough yet. Okay. Okay. Just check. On. I'm just going to tighten them slowly. I'm just going to pull it on and tighten them evenly. Okay, and then we're going to check the torque. Set it down. Just like that. Done. That's awesome.